This is what a narcissist does when they're looking for a sex partner. Marriage is a reflection of the narcissist's complex character. A narcissist needs a particular someone who shares not just one, but a rare combination of traits for them to feel complete. Imagine the narcissist as an architect who designs a relationship paradigm to meet the narcissist's abnormally high emotional and intellectual fulfillment needs, and you'll have a good idea of how a narcissist makes their partner selections. Narcissists have learnt, through experience, which types of individuals can and cannot meet their wants, and which types of people will and will not put up with their unpredictable behaviour and warped grasp of social rules to ensure their own psychological survival. Before we start, let me say how much I appreciate you watching this video. We've all had to cope with a narcissist's immaturity on the emotional front, and this video sheds light on how they approach to compromise. Some have likened them to children who have outgrown their bodies because of their incessant need for nurturing parents to care for them. It is accurate whatsoever has been said. Due to their lack of emotional maturity, narcissists look for parents who will coddle them but still give them space to make their own choices. Their lives would be easier if you did things like laundry, cleaning up after them, making dinner, shopping for groceries, paying bills, etc. They put on an act of superiority to avoid engaging in routine tasks that get in their way of pursuing their passions. For this reason, they want a life mate who will appreciate and admire this quality in them. They assume you will put up with their erratic behaviour, unreasonable requests, and general lack of appreciation. They daydream about being able to act like spoiled, lazy brats, without worrying about the consequences. They expect you to love them, although they treat you like trash. Narcissists nearly never put the needs of others above their own, and their own desires take precedence over those of others. They want both the playfulness of childhood and the maturity that comes with adulthood. In the same way as a child, but also in charge of the caretaker, they will start acting spoilt, entitled, and demanding. They are too demanding and continuously seek your attention. This is because narcissists believe the rest of us owe our loyalty to them because of their superiority complex and the promise of invites to lavish dinner parties. Unfortunately, narcissists don't always fit this mould. Sometimes, they seem like a good match or even appear at first. Yet if you play into the narcissist's hands by doing what they want you to do, their elaborate traps will be easily spotted. They prefer to have you to themselves in order to make clandestine connections. The narcissist has lost all interest in you and now considers you expendable. Moreover, many people who fall for narcissists incorrectly believe that the person they fell for is still there since narcissists may be empathetic when it's convenient for them to be. For some, this sustains the hope that things will improve. But for the sake of those who are in the same boat, someone in charge of your life is emotionally immature, self-centred, manipulative, selfish or envious. They don't care about you or your feelings. Therefore, everything you do will never be good enough in their eyes. Simply meeting their basic requirements and showing an interest in what they want will suffice. Narcissists resort to abusive and exploitative behaviour since it's the only way to achieve their goals. Narcissists, like those who respond to personal ads in newspapers, have long lists of desires. Complaining is counterproductive, thus you shouldn't do it ever. Maintaining the narcissist's approval requires ongoing effort. You need poor self-esteem and to prioritise the narcissist's wants and needs if you want to attract a narcissist. To win over a narcissist, it helps to have needs and wants similar to theirs. Show the narcissist endless affection and appreciation to reassure them of your devotion. All is well, and I think we can agree that we mutually understand what you mean. 
But what I'm trying to say is that being with a narcissist significantly impacts your mental health. Some forms of narcissism are emotionally exhausting beyond a certain point. If you are not well equipped to handle a narcissist, they will turn you into an enslaved person. Narcissists are hapless people who don't enjoy seeing others suffer. They value self-expression and doing things that bring them joy above all else. The takeaway here is that narcissists are not to be trusted and that you should not anticipate fair treatment from them. I hope this video will be helpful to you, as usual. I'd love to give your feedback, so please leave a comment below. If you enjoy this video, please forward it to others and give it a thumbs up in advance. I truly hope the video was helpful to you in any way. Please accept our gratitude for viewing this and know how much it is appreciated. Have a nice day.